We have a long history of mural tradition. In fact, we're one of the first places in the world to have a people's gallery here, which was born out of the need for people to have a voice because people didn't have a voice then. Young people still have a, they have a voice, but that's how they get it out there and it can get lost in the world of social media and all that. So it can be easier for young people to express their views and opinions on issues through that medium. The idea of, of taking um, artwork off a wall, putting it in a glass box and selling it for to buy as bitter might not be the best thing in the world. The good thing that we always talk about and try and promote in our, in our classes and educational program is that street art's temporary. It's always been temporary. That night you might have spent six hours on a train tracks painting an illegal painted piece of graffiti. It could be gone the next day, but it's that process of how you got there, what you've done and, and how it was recorded and documented. That's the important part. So we try and change our mural arts quite often. So we wouldn't let it run for more than two or three years. We think that there's a time and a place in comparison to our, our mural arts in Northern Ireland. Some of those images depict a time 40 years ago, which might not be a similar situation as it is in the present day. So we feel that some of the artwork should change or be updated or move with the times. Some of it's very important, it might, it might signify a, a, an important part of the history, but some of the stuff is quite offensive, intimidating, so we're trying to promote and encourage to change those murals. Hopefully when people come, they see our historic city walls, for example, or come and look at us as a post-conflict part of the world that they can they can see that we're moving forward. I think the public art is a great way to show the international community that we are moving forward as a people, regardless of what our politicians do. As a people, we we are moving on and we're getting on with our lives and we're trying to make our own surroundings a better place. So they're doing the same arguments they've they've done 30 years ago. Now not all of them, but the majority of them are doing the same thing. So people are really just fed up with it. They they sort of going, oh, not again, the same age old argument from the old dinosaurs on the hill. I just think people have to be you've got to be proactive. You can't just sit around and wait for other people to change your society, you've got to get involved in your own society and the place you live. I think that's important, so if I've got a group of 20 young people who create a, a mural and they they can walk around the city and they can tell anyone that wants to listen that I had a say in that, that large piece of artwork is based on partly my idea, collaborate with all our, my friends and blah blah blah, so I think it's quite empowering, it really is, you know. I think the most important aspect that might going to happen is us to, to continue to see our vision of where, where we want it to go. Uh, you have to have a bit of self-determination, I think that's, and self-belief as well, confidence and, and believing in what you can do is, is something that needs to be instilled in young people. I think we're a can-do attitude, that, that's really important, I feel. If you believe you can do it you, and achieve it, you should be able to do it, I mean, that's big for me.